Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you going? Quick message before this starts. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. Uh, I want to let you guys know what you're about to watch. You're about to watch episode one of the Me and Mike podcast. Uh, I'm putting this one out completely for free, in full, unedited for you guys to give you a little bit of a, a sample, a little bit of a taster uh, of what this podcast is. And what it is, is a Patreon exclusive podcast. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to grow my Patreon. I'm trying to really launch the fucking Lewis Spears movement of bringing back uh, real comedy, which is unapologetic, doesn't apologize for nothing, uh, and doesn't have to censor itself for advertisers or whatever. I've come to the realization that uh, even YouTube is changing. Even YouTube, which previously was the place to put stuff that wouldn't work on mainstream media, uh, all that shit's changing. And while YouTube, for the minute, at least, isn't outright banning people who are controversial or, or say things that may offend. They definitely are demonetizing them. So I think that Patreon is the way forward for my content because I want to do more. I want to put out as much shit as possible. I want to bring back cooking without instructions. And uh, Patreon is the way forward with that. That's how I'm going to get a budget to uh, do all of these things, remain consistent, pay uh, the editors and the people I have helping me make everything. So, um, without further ado, I want you guys to listen to the Me and Mike podcast, uh, which is about to play, and uh, all future episodes will be exclusive to Patreon, so you won't see them anywhere else. Uh, it's a fucking hilarious podcast. I know you guys have been wanting more from uh, Radio Mike, seeing as he's not part of the Luke and Lewis show, at least for the moment. Um, so, the Me and Mike podcast is a great way to bring that back. It comes out only on Patreon, and uh, if you sign up, whether you're giving a dollar a month just to hear the podcast and get early access to everything I do, or you're giving six bucks a month and you jump in the Discord, whatever you're giving, you'll get access to this podcast. I think it's really fucking good, and it's uh, definitely worth jumping on Patreon for. So, hope you enjoy episode one. Thank you so much for supporting me. Let's fucking start this movement and bring back fucked comedy. Enjoy. Hello, and welcome to Me and Mike, episode one of Me and Mike. I'm the Mike, he's the me. Sup, I'm a, I'm a me from fucking Wii Sports. That's well, me. You'd be a really tall me. Yeah, you know one how of those... you can adjust, adjust the size? Yeah, I always made myself really long, and then I, I always felt that it wasn't long enough. In uh, in Super Smash, yeah, you, yeah, you wouldn't be. It'd no, like it wasn't. Because it's in... like, if you max it, you're like 6'3". Yeah, but right. I'm like, ah, oh, I need another four inches. Yeah. In Smash Bros, you can be me fighters. So you can be a me gunner, me of brawler, course, or me swordsman. Within the first 30 seconds, so we're we'll, talking about fucking so, Smash Bros. So who would you be? Um, me brawler, sword fighter, or gunner? Can You'd you be hear a brawler. that alarm? That's Luke set off the fucking alarm. Oh, oh hang on. Bloody I hell, guys. That. Lewis is going to... You tell well, them about what this podcast is. And okay, so... It. I don't really know what the podcast is. Like, Lewis just... Well, the power's distracting is the alarm, guys. Jesus Christ. Ah, it's fixed. So, I think we're just... We're doing a podcast that's, like, exclusive for Lewis's Patreon supporters. Hey, thanks so much for supporting us, guys. A dollar a month can go a long way. Leave a review for the podcast. It can really yeah, help the show, that I've, kind of thing. I've been thinking that I've, I wanted to do something Patreon exclusive that was a little bit different that only you guys get to see because you guys give me so much and I wanted to give you guys something back. Yeah. Uh, and, unfortunately, the best idea I could come up with was uh, me and Mike. So, <laughs> uh, no, but I thought, I don't know, we did, we, you and I did a, you came on my podcast and yeah. I thought that Spearhead it was Sunday. You know it? what it is. Dude. Is it Spearhead Sunday? Yes, it's Spearhead yeah, Sunday. So Spearhead Sunday. Sorry, man. I just, I listened to so many. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that was so fun that oh, thanks, uh, we should, we should do another one. So what yeah. these are going to be is these are going to be monthly uh, and every month they'll come out only on Patreon and uh, I'm thinking that maybe at some point they'll be released publicly, but probably not for at least six months to a year after. Mm. I mean, what, what would be really cool is if we recorded 12, Mike, and then you got hit by a train and you were dead. Yeah. And then I just started mysteriously releasing yeah, podcasts. Release them. No, release them posthumously. Post, isn't it posthumously? Posthumously. Posthumously? <laughs> Are you sure? I'm pretty I'm sure. Pretty sure it's posthumously. Look it up on Google. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's posthumously. I think it's guys. Post Thirteen ten sixty. You call us up. Is it posthumously or posthumously? Posthumously. 
Uh, Sorry, guys. I'm just giving the thumbs up to another guy who happens to be in the room, uh, but he's not part. Well. Of, he's not part of it. Yeah, stay out. Sorry, man. Luke. You're not part of this. <laughs> For once in your life, stop. Nah, come in, man. He's not coming, guys. He's not. <laughs> he's not. He's <laughs> editing his own shit. Yeah, Leave him anyway, alone. Let's do. I this don't know part. why the fuck I don't charge you cunts rent because you're both here all the time. I didn't want to be. Here. I've been here like twice. <laughs> oh. Wait, because this is the me and Mike podcast, can I tell Luke to shut up the way you guys would tell me to shut up on your podcast? Yeah, of course. Luke, could you please shut up? Nah, do, nah don't. I feel bad. You're not that mean, though. See, that's Post, the problem. Posthumously, how do you how do but you? But what write... I'm saying is you should release them after I die because it would be so much more popular. Yeah, okay. So save them till I die, man. All right, here's posthumously. All right. It's posthumously. It's definitely posthumously. All right, what are we going to get, guys? Waiting in great anticipation. Fucking players. YouTube. Posthumously. Yeah, oh. posthumously. No, he said posthumously. He said po- posthumously. 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 You're saying it wrong. You're saying it like hippopotamus. Hippoposthumously. <laughs> <laughs> Possumous. Oh, I was thinking of posthumously, which is when you're a possum, you're a bit like a possum. Like, posthumously. Like, what do you think of Lewis? Oh, he's posthumously. That's not a word. Yeah, posthumously. It's like when you're like a possum. How do you spell that? Possum. Possum. And then Mosley, like Mosley, uh, from is that in Star Wars? Okay, it's just come up with posthumously. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, Mos Eisley. It's like Mosley, Mos Eisley. Posthumously is definitely not a word. Posthumously is like, oh, hey, what do you think of Jared from So Target? this whole podcast is basically going to be Mike saying things that he thinks are words, yeah. and me saying it's definitely not. Like just before you said snatch gunk. And if you don't know what I that is, I specifically asked you not to bring this. I'm up. not going to tell the story in which you were talking about it in. All right, but why Mike we, was talking about vagina. No, don't tell them what it is. Secretion. I wasn't you talking it about snatch that. gunk. I thought that was a known thing, but anyway. When it when has someone else said that snatch gunk? I'm sure someone has said you that. You make because shit up, and no. you're like, "That sounds true. That sounds like a thing everyone would say." Stop That's being like when you dumb. gave up, gave yourself your own nickname. Did that you- sounds like a nickname <laughs> everyone would call me, and everyone was like, "No." <laughs> Dude, you're, you're being a bit possumously at the moment, which means you're being like a possum, like you're being small and scary and like a creature of the night. So One time when uh, I was younger, uh, there was there's always possums around because my house is surrounded by trees. Yeah. And one time when I was younger, outside my window, I just heard... <sighs> Dude, <sighs> I used to get that. It scared me. And I thought it was a human. Me too. I thought it was like some creepy guy outside my window and I went to my mum's yeah. room like, mum, there's someone outside my window. She's like, nah, it's a possum. And then uh, it was a guy, and we called the police. Oh, really? No, I made that part up. But uh, how good would it be if it was that? Yeah, and then he just le- he just leaned in the window, and he was like, "Oi, everyone calls vagina juice snatch gunk," <laughs> and you're like, "Oh, that makes sense." <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna say it in a podcast in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's the podcast. Also, yeah. I, was, I was thinking, um, seeing as this is for you Patreon cunts, if what I'm gonna do is I'll put a post up on Patreon uh, after a couple of episodes have been mm. out asking for questions or topics for us to talk Concerns, about. Concerns. If you have suggestions queries, for us to talk about, uh, totally happy uh, to do that. Yeah. Secrets. Rumours. Yeah. Anything, really. Send it in, because me and Lewis will read every piece of correspondence. So. Uh, um, unless your name is Tim. No Tims on this podcast, right, Lewis? That's right. We're Fuck make, Tim. We're making Any the Tims? rules up as we go. Fuck you. No, yeah. no Tims, unfortunately. Also, we should come up with a way to start the podcast because that's probably the first thing you would do. So True. with my podcast, I go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and yeah. girls. And sometimes I scream, whores, because that Ooh. makes me laugh. Ooh. Uh, you have a, a little Mine's, audio. My name's Radio Mike. Welcome to the inside of my mind. But I have an audio intro. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, what should ours be? Well, it depends how much effort you want to put into it. Well, do you want it to be like a like a Power Rangers thing? So it's like Mike ready, and then you go Lewis ready, and then we go activate the Me and Mike podcast, and then we go hello everyone, welcome to the Me and Mike podcast. That makes me want to delete the whole thing, <laughs> everything that we've recorded. <laughs> that makes me want to just hit stop on the record button and and take the SD card and break it because even though I could delete the footage, I'd want to be absolutely sure that no one could ever recover. It. So we w- do we want to delete that from the, this podcast? So nah, no, we'll it. leave it in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so not no to the Power Rangers. Is that the topic of the first episode? We try and figure out how to start all the other ones? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, all right. Well, I was thinking that it could be... Obviously, you want to say the, the episode number. Yeah. And you want to say... Guess, yeah. You want to say... 
It's the Me and Mike The podcast. Me and Mike podcast. Well, you'd have to say that. So, yeah, I have to say it's Me and Mike. Yeah. So, I'd say, hey, welcome to the... No, nah, it can't the... be that. That's so boring. Welcome like, I'm to the podcast. I'd say... Bored. Oh, no. Mike's falling asleep. Oh, no. This podcast is going to suck. Somehow he's managed to hold the microphone to his mouth to make snoring noises. This has added to the ambience of this catastrophic oh, failure. Oh, sorry, you're right, guys, man. I just, yeah, I just fell asleep because I got really bored about oh, the was, intro. Was it because I said, "Hey, welcome to the me and Mike"? Oh no! Oh, he's falling asleep again. You've oh, got a comfortable shoulder. Oh, thanks, man. I've been hitting the gym a lot. Watch out, I'm gonna flex. Oh, oh sorry, man. I was just. Oh, the cam. Did the camera move while yeah, I was asleep? Yeah, the camera asleep? moved because I told you to bring a fucking longer <laughs> microphone cable and you didn't. I reckon it's got to be the intro to this podcast has got to be like, like a this massive thing. Like, yeah. Hey guys, I'm Lewis. G'day guys, I'm Mike. And together we're me and Mike, the podcast edition. Only on the podcast edition. Only on but that Patreon. implies that there's some other yeah, well, edition a, of me and Mike. Yeah, out the other there. edition is the live friendship. This is the podcast edition of our friendship is how I imagined this podcast. Okay, being. right. Yeah. So so really this just epitomates our friendship. Where epitomates? Epitomates? Epitom- epitomizes? Oh my God. Epitomates. Lewis just fucking makes up words all the time. Hey, Bloody Lewis. Hey. Epitom- Luke, did you hear Lewis say epitomates? He's not in this podcast. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, it's epitomizes. Oh, okay. Epitomizes. Sorry, man. I've just... Yeah. I, I've, at least it wasn't snatch gunk. <laughs> oh, no. He's fallen asleep again. I said snatch gunk. You're not a part of this podcast. They can't can even you, hear you. Can you stay out of it? You're just so jealous. Can you believe this? Anyway, this guy, as I, don't know I was why saying, never worked with him. I like Luke. He's good to work with. Yeah, he's a pretty good guy. I don't. Actually, I've changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, what if okay. it's like? Well, okay. So the only thing we've actually knocked down is I have to say me and Mike, but yeah. everything else is a little bit up I in the air. What if I do like a musical intro, like with my mouth? I'll just do something out. But every time you sing, I hate it. Hey, guys. Welcome to the podcast. It's me and Mike, episode one. That was pretty good. Do you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. But every episode, the music that you do changes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this one was quite an upbeat, like, get ready for this. Yeah, yeah. And then episode two, maybe we've had a long week at work and we're really tired. So it's like something like... Hey guys, um, welcome to the podcast. But then we get it's excited. Me, you so didn't let go, me finish my oh, bit. You so, fucked it. Sorry guys, sorry guys. Oh, do you want me to start again? No. All right, we'll, we'll work it You've out. You've ruined now. episodes two. Now it can. Now <laughs> we can't do so that do we theme. Skip just to episode three next week. <laughs> next month We just skip episode 2 It never happened Okay yeah let's right, do So it. next one next will be episode, episode 3 Yeah we're not doing episode 2 Mike ruined it I'm really sorry about that It was going to be a really good podcast We, I mean we would have been A little we bit tired that, after oh, work We had so many we, plans So many plans for it that podcast It sucks we won't be able to do the um Live alligator feeding But like Yeah, yeah It was so expensive well, that's, anyway Well maybe we should i tell you what Maybe uh, we, we'll set up another Patreon just for me and this Mike podcast. And so you have to pay for access to this And then you also pay for access But only for episode mm-hmm. 2 <laughs> Yeah it'll go. We'll record episode 2 But it'll go black market So you can only get it on the black market Yeah true like, yeah. Alright we're selling yeah. episode 2 it's But it'll obvious. cost you Yeah but we're not Yeah anyway um, Alright So How's the podcast going guys? <laughs> yeah it's not going It's going well I've actually had a great time so far, man. That's good. I'm having a good time. Have you had your Smash Bros. tournament yet? <laughs> did <laughs> did you I get, tell you about did this? Did you get destroyed? So I, I went to this Smash Bros. tournament the other night. and um, Let me tell you a backstory. I was going to tell this Let on me, my podcast. But I want to tell here. some backstory about Ma- Mike's Radio Mike's Smash Bros. obsession. So Radio Mike's become obsessed with Smash Bros. Sorry, no. Can I just correct? I'm not... I haven't become... I always have been obsessed. You came out of the womb covered in snatch gunk going, Smash Bros, Smash Bros. I was, Waluigi I, was a, in it. I was a cesarean. Also, if Waluigi's not in well, it. You were He'll covered in tum gunk. Okay, whatever. I continue <laughs> your story. <laughs> whatever, you guys. Can cesarean. you believe this? Is that because your head's so big? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was, I was the second born child, so I think like... My mum was like, ah, oh, I've done a natural birth. Fuck now I'll just make this one easy. Yeah, actually, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So continue your story. So you were a low effort birth. I was like, a low oh, effort fuck birth. Fuck this. I'm just a low effort birth and a low effort boy. That's good. 
Yeah. Um, so Mike's radio mic came out of the the C section covered in tum juice, just obsessed with Smash Bros. And when it finally came out on the Switch, he brought the fucking controller in. You've got it with you now. Yes. And, he, and I didn't tell you to bring that, and I don't know why you would bring it because we don't have time. Stop. Sorry, okay? man. I've moved the camera. You need to bring a longer <laughs> fucking microphone cable because otherwise you keep <laughs> stopping and <laughs> kicking the thing. <laughs> Sorry, guys, and that's just raped your ears. We've got Mike in the building. That's why. Um, yeah, he came into the radio while we were, we were supposed to be planning our show. And this is while we're on survey break, which is like a big opportunity. We're getting heard by more people across the country. Mike brings in Nintendo Switch yeah. and then just challenges everyone to Smash Bros. It came out like a couple of days before yeah. and then didn't teach anyone the controls. Let's play Dr. Mario. Be- guys, I've got Dr. Mario up. <laughs> It's so fun. The other day I had my mate over. Oh, give me Dr. Mario. <laughs> the other day I had All my right. mate over. And is I was, this old school you Dr. Can do Mario two is player, this new? You can do two-player Dr. Mario if you want to play two-player Dr. Mario. But is I this? had my mate over the other day and, and he was like, let's play Dr. Mario. We spent like two hours playing Dr. Mario. What it, have I done? It, oh, you pressed fuck. the home button. We played it for two hours and we didn't get sick of it. It's crazy. Oh, no. Just go start software. Um, I'm trying. Okay. Do you want to do two-player? I don't think, hang on, I don't okay. think us playing two player Dr. Mario is good content for the podcast. Oh, I meant you have to after. remember that I meant people after. Are, yeah, but you were getting it up now. Oh, sorry, man. I was just excited about playing it later. Your whole life is you see flashing <laughs> lights and you just, you're like a moth. Oh my God, a light. And you just, you just run directly towards it and someone goes, Dude, hey, man, if you get cl- too close to that, you'll die. You're Dr. like, oh, Mario's sorry, I just got excited. <laughs> Dr. Mario is so good. So good. I had a. I've. I've had. I a, bought a pair of Nikes today online. I mean, I was saying something there. And I just. <laughs> so oh, I was just in the middle I of the sentence. We'll finish. Sorry, I mean, if you on. just want to interrupt go me, and no, no, me. go on. Are I'm you stopping. sure you want to? I'm do, stopping now. Okay. All right. So I was. Uh, I. Uh, you 160 know what? bucks for these Nikes, but what they're Nikes sick. Did you get? Oh, look them up. They're awesome. Yeah. Well, oh, I've got them on my phone. I think. Well, Actually, no. Let's do. You do. Let me Google it. I don't know what they're called. You do your story, man. We'll talk about the Nikes next week on episode two. No, that's episode three. We're Sorry, episode, episode three, three. Episode three, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, talk, talk, about, talk about the... What were you talking about? Dr. Mario or something like that? Well, oh, I you brought the this- switch to the, the radio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys are going to notice so that you make Mike, me nervous. Mike <laughs> can, can have four conversations at once and he'll never finish any of them. <laughs> what? He'll get, okay, so what I started stuff? talking. What? I started talking. Wait, name I it. started talking about Smash Bros. And That's then you one. interrupted me, started playing Dr. Mario. <laughs> then you started asking me about my fucking story that I got one word into. Then you Wait, started talking the story about your Nike. <laughs> And now we're talking about something else. What was the story you started and said one word of? I don't know anymore because we've started three since then. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just checking my phone. Okay. And now he's <laughs> checking his phone. Okay, so w- talk about whatever you want to talk about. It's your Patreon. So uh, my dad's a builder and one time he found a full Game & Watch system in the box with all the things and I played it and it was fun. <laughs> See, this is why I tell my stories, because yours are shit. No, my, that definitely would have been very interesting <laughs> five minutes ago when it was actually relating to something right. else we were talking so about. So I brought the Switch to the radio station, and I was like, oh, this is great. Let's, we'll, I'll play some Smash with the boys, with the producers, with all the people that work there. And I play it, and I win. because I'm you a teach su- us the controls? I'm b- better at the game, and I'm a superior did, player. Did and Lewis complains. The- He's like, oh, I don't know how to play, so it's not fair. <laughs> That's not what I sound like. That's why he's angry. That's not what I sound like. That's not what I sound like. That's not what I sound like. That's not it's what not I my sound voice. like. It's not my voice. Snatch gunk. My name, Lewis. <laughs> my name is Lewis Spears. Anyway, so Lewis got upset I because miss my wife. <laughs> can we can we talk about that quickly? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are we going to finish the other three sentences, or are we just going to wrap them up? <laughs> Start talking about this fucking obscure what the other, okay, so, in joke that we have now okay, of I miss so, my wife. I can't even remember how it started. Okay, I'll Was tell it you with I'll you or me? Uh, I'm going to read it out. I started it. I'm really proud of it because it's probably one of the only memes I've started that the whole group is on board with. Okay, so we have a, a group chat uh, with the radio team but uh, and it's just... Our radio show is just full of fucking garbage. Yeah. And um, like, I... I don't even know why you're in this group chat anymore. You're not part of the Luke and Lewis show anymore. I know. But like, the Jeff and Big Spaghetti... It started off with the Jeff and Big Spaghetti 
meme, which I think a lot of your listeners are familiar with. Jeff and Big Spaghetti is, uh, they do drive time, primetime radio on Nova 100. They're our biggest competition, but also our biggest inspiration. Yeah, they're really good. They're really good at radio. But um, what am I doing here? I'm trying to find a specific... Can you search messages? I don't know. Uh, hang on. Let's just find spaghetti. Uh, yeah, there's going to come up with 30,000 <coughs> references. Why are you searching spaghetti? No, I found, I found it. I found it. I found it. my wife. So what happened was... Um, oh, that's right. It started with Jeff and Big Spaghetti. Yeah, that's why I brought it up. Oh, this was ages ago. So, yeah, it was like... It was ages ago. Yeah, literally. So, okay. So Ebony, who is... In, actually, ages ago. This was in the Middle Ages. Um, <laughs> I don't know how they had phones no, it and wasn't WhatsApp. In, it wasn't in the Middle Ages. It was in the Triassic period. Really? Yeah. So dinosaurs came up with this meme. Well, the dinosaur versions of us. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty it's cool. It's so weird, man. I didn't... You were a long neck. You were a, a patasaurus. Yeah, and you were just... The... I was a big headosaurus. <laughs> and Luke was just, what's the most generic dinosaur? What dinosaurs would we all be? Uh, Luke would probably be like a... Luke would be those little ones that always get in the way. The velociraptors. I already said like a pad, a Yeah, thanks for your contribution, Luke, but Mike already said that. You're not part of this. <laughs> <laughs> what would I actually be? Stop fucking talking about me. I would probably be a flying dinosaur. Like I'd be like a pterodactyl or something. <laughs> Yeah, because they have the most annoying noise <laughs> and you're yeah. always screaming <laughs> shit. Do you, do you know what you did when you came in today? The fir- He comes into the warehouse, like, oh, let's start the podcast. Immediately, he sees I have a megaphone. He's like, oh, a megaphone. Picks it up, starts singing Harvey Maria into it <laughs> and at the top neighbors. of his lungs. And I have fucking neighbors. And I said, shut up. I've got neighbors. They can neighbors. definitely hear you. So then he starts singing neighbors. Everybody needs good neighbors. Like Toadie and Dr. Carl and Susan. But no, Dr. Susan's a bitch. Do- Didn't she cheat on? No, no Dr. That's Carl what I was, cheated. If you listen to the next yeah. line, I was going to go, but Dr. Dr. Carl, Carl cheated, cheated on Susan. Susan, Susan was what? devastated when Carl cheated on her with that blonde I- Isabel chick. Hoyland, I believe. And she but they started it up Izzy. a band that had one good song and then faded into obscurity. They had a few good songs. They had a few good baby, songs. Baby, baby, baby. That was you that. are my voodoo child. My, my voodoo, voodoo child. child. Don't say maybe, maybe. <laughs> What else did they do? Neighbours. No, they didn't do that. That's the neighbours theme. Yeah, no, they did that. Oh, did they? Yeah, that's how she got the job. As was the... that in the Middle Ages? or No, that was in the Jurassic period, which really? was a few million years after the Triassic or before the Triassic. So but what, you know when what... you said the but... Triassic had, uh, you'd be a pterodactyl in the Triassic yeah. period, I think you need to brush up on your paleontology, my friend, because I don't think they were around in the Triassic period. Well, they were around in the Cretaceous period. Crustaceous? No, Cretaceous. Cretaceous? Crustaceous is the lob. Cre- when, well, the Crustaceous period was a period between 1920 and 1930 where all people turned into lobsters just for was 10 that be- years. Was that before or after the Croutonous <laughs> period the where crouton- everyone was no, just, so- there was just croutons everywhere? <laughs> yes, that was the 50s. It was 50s. like, oh, croutons. That, that was the 50s, but the yeah. 30s mm. was the Crustaceous period. So what happened was there was this uh, is big... That, is that why they call it the Clippy Clappy 30s? Yeah, that's yeah, why they, they call it the Clippy Clappy. That's why, yeah. yeah. So what happened was there was this big... You know how there was a comet that destroyed the earth for the dinosaurs yeah there was this big tidal wave that yeah. had all this lobster dna in it yeah, yeah and yeah. the lobster dna merged with, with the human dna with the human dna yeah. so everyone just temporarily turned into a lobster so it was like there was mi- like That's it was good for in, the economy um, because there was heaps of lobster and lobsters a delicacy is that was during the prohibition period wasn't it which prohibition period oh uh, where they where they banned birds because birds feast on crabs yeah so they banned birds for a while but then they yeah. realized they couldn't send any letters at hogwarts anymore because mm, they didn't have any owls are birds yeah, so. so then Hogwarts, the yeah. ma- the Ministry of Magic said to the normal ministry, like, hey, we'll use magic to turn everyone back into people, but you have to unban birds so and we can send them. the letters. normal ministry said, because <laughs> yeah. they're all crabs. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they were yeah. just feasting on eggs and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And then the, the Ministry of Magic just did it because who wants to reason with a crab? Yeah. Anyway, that's a, just a brief history lesson. Yeah, um, so anyway, we were so- talking about WhatsApp? Yeah, okay, so what happened was, yeah. in the group chat, Ebony, who works on the show, she sent a message that was like... This is before Dinosaur. Hey guys, I'm in Ballarat right now, and last time I was here, Mike fell asleep, and Luke... <clears throat> and bailed on Luke, because remember, I fell asleep and I didn't go to that escape room? Oh, yeah. And then I said, guys, guys, I'm at Jeff's, and last time I was here, Big Spaghetti 
put on Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran and started dancing around the pool saying, I'm the wolf man. And Jeff was like, <laughs> and Jeff was like, nah, bro, you're the spaghetti man. And spaghetti was like, what the fuck? And you're Jeff not going to read like, this whole thing because it's fucking three paragraphs. And Jeff was paragraphs. like, get out of my house. And spaghetti was like, make me. And he said, I'll call the cops. You're trespassing. And then spaghetti was like, oh how God. am I trespassing? It's passing. It's my house. And Jeff was like, oh, I, I thought this, this was my house. I remember not reading this. Anyway, so it was just and a I'm long not- message. No, but yeah. Okay, I have please, to read it all. please skip the message. I right. don't. It's no, six paragraphs. The, the meme is in the message. So then, then, so it goes, uh, and then Jeff, and then I was like, Jeff, this is your house. Spaghetti's fucking with you big time. And Jeff was like, WTF? I don't know what to believe or where my life is going. Sometimes I feel like a stranger on this planet and don't know what to do. And Spaghetti was like, Why are we all fighting? We've all been through so much together. We should be celebrating each other's company and being friends. I hate fighting. And Jeff was like, I'm Can sorry I just for say, everything. I just need to interject here. This group chat was set up by the radio to help facilitate us organizing our show and organizing interviews and guests and ideas, and it's turned into this. And then Jeff was like, I'm sorry for everything. Let's get the gang back together and go do drive radio. And I was like, I can't do it. Sorry, guys, but Radio Raheem is free and back from America. Radio Raheem's their panel operator. (laughs) And Jeff was like... He's also a a fight commentator occasionally for YouTube. He's real. And Jeff was like, all right, we'll get Raheem's to back. And Spaghetti was like, I miss my wife. And then just from then on, like, at any at any point, you just say, I miss my wife. And it's like, Spaghetti's wife, like, left him because he got too famous and, like, she yeah. couldn't, she just wanted a simple life. And uh, it, I think that sentence really resonates with all of us. And whenever you're feeling a little bit down, you just go, I miss my wife. Yeah. And uh, that's completely taken over our group chat. How many months ago was that? That was, like, over a month ago. Hey, can oh, really? You believe, can you was be- there... Can was, you believe this? Sorry, can were I just dinosaurs interject? just less than a month ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ugh, that was the Cretaceous moves, period. Time moves fast. Not the Crustaceous period. But or the can I just show you? Period. Luke's just sent me a text. Yeah. Luke Kidgel. Hey guys, I'm trying to work. Could you please be quiet, particularly Lewis? I'm not loud! Can you believe this? Also, this is not a shared workspace. No, it's not. It's, it's not, me and Lewis's workspace. What are they called? Shared workspace. Oh, this is not a shared work, shared office space. Yeah. So maybe I should start doing that. I'll set up desks that have USBs. Dude, you everywhere. should. We should all work here and like just be mates and stuff. I don't know. Just go out for lunch. Like, I like that, but not so much the friend stuff. But no, but and also if, like, I'm paying. The, I'm the only one paying work, rent. No, so but we maybe pay you to work here. Yeah. To cover the rent. Yeah. And then we all work here, and then like I'd like. So you up. would pay me to work here. Maybe. Yeah, it's a nice. So office. every time I come in here to work, you'd pay me. Maybe, but I just can I just finish? It gets like I don't know. Do you ever? It gets like to ten thirty yeah. in the morning, and yeah. we've all been working for a bit. And then I come up to your desk and I go, "Hey, man, I'm going to get a coffee. You want one?" And yeah. then it's like we're really working. That would be good, but there's there's this place is sur- exclusively surrounded by brothels and warehouses, oh. so you can't get coffee. So you'd be you, like, "Hey, no- man, I'm I'm going to get a blowjob. Do you want anything?" <laughs> I'll be, like, "Oh yeah, can I just just a rub and tug, thanks." <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, so t- what were we... There was a few more unfinished threads uh, of this I, podcast. What I remember is Nike shoes and there was yes. definitely something else. But there I'm glad we covered Super the... Super Smash Bros. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Super Smash Bros, why, your tournament. You, oh, my, oh, my tournament. So I was going to tell... we only have on, five minutes yeah, left, by the way. I was going to tell it on my podcast, but basically I went to this tournament for Smash Bros. Because like I win online all yep. the time. I have a GSP of 3,780,000, which is quite high. Oh, man, internet video <clears throat> games shit need to make their points smaller. Why can't they make 100 good? Yeah, I don't know. But like I'm good GSP. Yeah. I'm in Elite Smash. Go to this tournament. First match, mm-hmm. knocked out, right? Is, Didn't isn't even stand that exactly a chance. what happened the last time you yeah, went to a yeah. tournament? Then I get into the loser's bracket. Knocked out. Didn't oh, win you knocked out of the losers bracket. Yeah. So they were like, okay, obviously we understand there is lots of high level players coming to this tournament. We don't want the casual, so, average, above average people to feel bad. So we'll have a losers bracket. So, no, and no, you still got if smashed. If you there. work your way up to the losers bracket, you can still perform, uh, compete in the grand final. The winner of all. Well, the maybe I could. Lose. You couldn't. Anyway, out first match. I'm so disappointed. And the guy's like, hey, do you reckon you'll come back next week? And I was like, man. Of course I'll be back next week. You're not going back. I don't back. think I'm going back. No way. Couldn't live with the shame. I'm embarrassed. I'm humiliated. Look but at my then, face. But then how do you get better if you... I don't know. I feel like I have to keep going because I won't... You, were you actually worse or did you freak out on the day? I did freak out. Like in the loser's bracket match, I was yeah. like dominating this guy. I was destroying yeah. him. And yeah. then it's best of three. 
Yeah. So he won the second one. And I was like, oh, I can still come back. And then I just lost it on the third one. Right. I was playing Pokemon Trainer, who's you swap between three Pokemon. Yeah. Squirtle, Ivasaur, and Charizard. Mm. Squirtle's the water starter. Ivasaur's the evolution of yeah, Bulbasaur. Yeah, we, we all know that. Hey, guys. And uh, we've got three minutes left. Your shoes? Uh, <laughs> so my $160 shoes. Why did you even tell me that? I don't know. Are these the shoes? No, they're my Converse Fast Breaks. So I bought these about Why do a you remember year the name? Ago? Why do you remember the name? Because I like them. I have shoes. Yeah, but your shoes are like really weird shoes. Actually, these are Me Palladium X and know, MHA1 collabs. I don't know if you this can't is buy these anymore. MHA1 collabs. Yes. I don't know if this ever went to air anywhere, but me and Luke went out like shopping once. Yeah. And Luke bought. Luke, Luke wanted to buy a pair of shoes, and every shit pair of shoes we saw, we were like, oh, we should recommend these to Lewis. <laughs> Hey, my shoe game is impeccable. It's Thank you not. very much. I'm actually I'm literally known for how my good shoe game. But yeah. I regularly get comments going, "Oh man, how many shoes do you have?" Dude, you're, you're wearing so cool. like green army boots. Like, yeah, and if you don't shut the fuck up, I'll put a rifle in your ass. Anyway, uh, just kidding. I've, I've never been spent to the army. Like four hundred dollars on shoes in the past month. That's cool. I bought a new pair of Nikes. Yep. For ninety nine. Then I bought a pair of Converse's today yep. for a hundred, and then a. And the pair Do you of need Nikes. Want more Converse though? I feel like once you have one pair, you've got enough. These are pretty old. I'm ready for a new pair. I'm so like I love Converse sneakers. See, what you need is like me. You need like fucking twenty pairs of shoes, and then none of them get ruined because yeah, you just rotate so ruined. much. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Have like three or four rotating pairs because no, when you I... need twenty. Do you have twenty pairs of shoes? I think I might. Yeah, because I wear mine so frequently that they just get wrecked after a few months, and I'm mm. like, fuck, what a waste. <laughs> but anyway. That's just who I am. Well, we've got a little bit of time left. We need to figure out how we end the Me and Mike podcast. Oh, yeah. Okay. I reckon I fall asleep and then you go, wake up, Mike. And I wake up and go, sorry, guys. That's the end. I reckon I hate that. Oh, it's kind of a rip off of Wake Up Jeff anyway. Yeah, true. So we won't do that. Um, um, well, I was thinking that the intro is definitely more your style because it's yeah. very musical and you yeah. get to display your talents. Yeah. So maybe the outro should be something more my style. Like comedy or being tall. Uh yeah, but okay. how do you be tall in a, like an audio medium? I don't know. Do you have ideas? I thought you had an idea. Oh, no, I have no ideas. Oh, yeah. Maybe. So you just shoot some ideas and I'll tell you that I hate all of them and then we'll end it without having a proper ending. What if it ends with us both standing up and comparing heights and then I go, <laughs> I'm still shorter. And it's like this ironic thing because we know I'm never going to be taller than you. Do you want to do that? No. <laughs> I don't want to do that. How about every week I just come up with a new idea and we see and then eventually we'll get one. Okay. Well, let's do that one first. Okay. All right. So, so we'll just compare height. All right. So oh, yep. I'm, I'm still shorter. I'm then, still taller. And this is the, the mic. No, and you fucked it. Well, I say it. Okay, fine. Let's do it again. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm still shorter. I'm still taller. And this is no. Okay, okay. We're just gonna do it again. We gotta do it again. I Sorry, thought, I thought you were gonna say the whole thing. All right, ready? Go. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm still shorter. I'm still taller. And this is the me and Mike podcast. I fucked it up a little bit, but that's that'll do on VHS and DVD. We'll. S- See, you, however much I fucked it, you fucked it so much more. Should we do like DVD commentaries on each podcast? Yeah, I think we should. So we'll watch the podcast back yeah. and do a DVD commentary on it? Yeah, that'll be on the me and Mike Patreon. Okay, cool. That you, you, But you have to support both to get access to just that. Yeah, so okay, it's cool. going to run you up a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're going to do these once a month. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, tune in next week. This was episode one. Uh, next month, we've got episode three coming out. And uh, we'll see you soon. See you guys. I'm Mike. The mic part of Mike and me. Well, if you want to say, oh, sorry, talk sorry. into the microphone. See you guys. You I'm idiot. Mike, the mic part of the Me and Mike podcast. And he doesn't use his mic. <laughs> there you go, guys. That was episode one of the Me and Mike podcast. All future episodes will be coming out exclusively on my Patreon. And you know what, man? It's cheap as fuck and it helps me out so much. More, even more than you could even think. Like, Patreon is the only reason why I have every everything you're currently looking at and hearing. This microphone. The warehouse. The guy who fucking edited this shit. That's the only reason why this stuff's coming is because of the uh, amazing cunts on Patreon. So, thank you very much. And if you have ever thought about supporting me on Patreon, if you have supported me before and you've dropped off, now's the time to come back. Now's the time to jump on board because I'm honestly about to kick my shit into overdrive. So, uh, 
Let's do this shit, guys. I've got a, I've got faith in you guys. I know uh, you've been enjoying what I've been putting out these last couple of months and how frequently I've been doing it. And shit's not going to slow down. It's only going to pick up. It's only going to get better. And Patreon is the way forward for me to do that. So thank you so much for listening to this. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want more of it or if you just want to help out, Patreon's the way to do it. So whether you give a dollar a month just to get the rewards or six bucks a month to jump in the Discord group that I'm in as well, or even more, it's cheap as fuck, guys. It's like, what do what these cunts say? Oh, it's just the, the price of a coffee for... But you know what? It's even cheaper than that because it's only once a month. So it's price. It's the price of... um, What would it be? What's the equivalent? Price of a uh, suck job in Bali. All right? So jump on. It's price of a gobby in Bali. I hope you guys enjoy. Patreon.com slash Lewis Spears or Google Lewis Spears Patreon. See you there. Thank you so much.